monochromatic, you know what I'm saying? Monochromatic, I'm saying. Could do some other colors. Didn't you do the Sharpie after the drawing? Same. Yes. For that, you can even get rid of the Sharpie, but I'll, I'll put some of this in. Hold it like this. This goes right in the palm and you hold it like that. Then, basic structure, your quick lines, holding up the reference, and then for the structure, they're like skinny lines. So here's here's a pattern. So once you get used to like how to make the patterns, it's like those marks. It's like wiggle and then some geometric. So those will make it look a little more uh, pro. So you don't want it like you don't want smooth coloring book outline. And if it's expressive, no one's a critic of like, hey, you're off a little bit, because it's uh, expressive. And then mouth, get that. Beard. So, once you learn a pattern, then it's like autopilot, but until you get a pattern going, you gotta be a little bit more aware of your uh, brush strokes. And you can start to see it come out. And then I just do a little bit on this side, then a little bit on the other side. His eyes are a little bit. I'll do that with paint. And then overall the structure of the head, so I'm gonna follow the contours. So your lines kind of follow the contour of what it would be doing if you're drawing on it. Okay. Then, that's it for the lines. Then, take this, and then you're going to kind of repeat these same things with the brush, and then I need a sponge. Le sponge. And then with these colors, Tons of water on it. Make sure that you have water on the paint. Yep. Oh, see you, man. Make sure you sign in. And then uh, the lines have to look like they were easy to do. They can't look like it took a long time. What kind of paper is this on? This is on matte board. Matte board. So it's got to look easy. And so to do that, even if it takes you a little while to do it, so you can concentrate on the line. But as you're doing each stroke, the, they need to be like thin to fat and then pull them down so they're going to be kind of expressive. Then we'll like fake a little more of that later. But right now I'm just getting the basic structure. So you can see how simple. There's not that many, there's not that many brush strokes to it. And so the lines, the lines I'm using are going like thin to fat, and then I can pull and I can go different directions. So that was a slow motion. And then... Dude, it looks like that picture. Fear the beard. And then for the eyes, Take your time, so when you guys when you guys do it, don't go this fast. This isn't my project, so I'm here. And then go back and forth in between them. some stuff later. So this is all layer two. And then you can see the paint coming through, all the better. You want some, be able to see some. And then the lines. So each stroke, you leave some white, don't try to hide it all. But they're like thin to fat. And then you can do that if you want it more.
more, so you can see more of it, you can uh, kind of cheat, and then uh, allow some of it to show through. Then after you have that, let that dry, and then you can come back in with some other colors, and then like for the medium tones. So now I'm building up some of the medium tones, which is blue, gray, then you can take a sponge and you can slide it across a little bit to blur it out so it smears, so it doesn't look like it's all neat. Otherwise it will look like color by numbers. So then I'll even take some other color. You can leave some of the white paper showing through, but bold strokes so is the key. Like take a clean spot, drag it all the way through, and then it just slowly is building up. And then take a sponge, drag it through again. Vertical though, don't try to go at an angle. So it's like as if it's like almost like a motion. Board. Here in a second. And the temples are going to be a little bit darker. And I'm just going to slowly build it up, and then get rid of get rid of some of the some of the paint. But and you put some of it back. Then well, you can also add a little bit of splatter to it. I'm going to do a house. Now a trailer. That's why his eyes are closed. You got pain, right? Watch out, casualty! Mel, you're supposed to wear your, wear, your, wear your safety glasses. So this can almost be done, just like that, but then you're going to come back and some bling any highlights. So then figure out what the light source is. And then you can paint in some of the highlights. It's definitely uh, not a female one. At least it's a male. So now I'm adding some thicker white. Like this thick gobs of paint. Fat red. And then this is a little more careful with the placement. And then a little bit on the way. That's it. Done. Loose. 